What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different from what I've done over these uh, past few weeks. This arrived in the mail today. And I actually ordered this um, about a week ago. About a week ago! And it, it's taken uh, longer than usual to arrive. But anyway, um, I actually got this on Lazada. It's for my car, for my phone, and well, uh, let's not bore you guys with the introduction and let's get to the unboxing. Let's see, you got this nice little uh, bubble wrap uh, cover plastic thing here, I guess. You can call it a bag. And this is kind of hard to rip off. It's, it's covered with like this kind of gum, like gum tape. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But, um, oh man. Okay. So, let's pull this out. This one actually is a base use uh, dual quick charger. I actually bought this for the uh, voltmeter function. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but um, it's got like this voltmeter display. Uh, so the story behind this is that um, my mom's car kind of already had a weak battery and um, would have been useful to have like a voltmeter handy so we could um, determine like um, how, just how much the battery is drained. But well, we didn't have a voltmeter and I went around the malls, the auto shops, and everything, and none of them had voltmeters. Surprisingly, I actually thought a voltmeter was a common um, accessory for, for, for cars. But, well, they didn't have it, so I decided to order it on Lazada. So, anyway, this is a base use uh, in auto. I think that's their brand for their car accessories. Particular digital display QC, I think that means quick charging, plus PPS. I have no idea what PPS means. It's right there. Dual quick charger, car charger, 65 watt suit. Okay, um, I, I don't actually know what any of this... Well, I do know what a car charger is, obviously, but I, I don't know what suit means, PPS. Um, anyway, if, 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 if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. So it's got a USB uh, type, I think that's a type A, the, like the regular like big USB ones that only go in like one way. And it's also got Type-C output, so it's got two ports, 65 watts output, which is quite high. Um, I think normal chargers, for example, uh, quick charging on my Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 9 uh, requires about 15 watts of input. So 15 watts on the USB Type-C port is enough to charge Samsung, you know, fast charging. So to have a 65 watt total output, uh, that, that's already combined, the, you know, the two, the two um, ports. This is really good. I got this for um, 800... I think that was like 860 on the Zada. It, it, it came with a cable already, like some Type-C cable. So anyway, let's open it up. I don't think it's sealed, but anyway. Oh yeah, it's sealed. It's got this little tape thing on the, on the side. Let's pull that up for you guys to see. Well, I could just, you know, rip open the entire box, but I'm not like other people, you know? Alright, so it's open. We pull this one out. Oh. Oh, it's taped on this side as well. You gotta commend these guys, no? Um, they really don't want anyone to be tampering with their products. And, well, I guess it's, it's a blessing for, like, the customer. How do you get rid of this? There you go. Okay. Alright, here it is. So, um, it's pretty small. And, um, the adapter, that's only a. Oh! oh Drop the cable. Uh, the adapter is about. Let's see, what's this? About like two, uh, two inches, two point five inches, which is just the same size as my. I don't know if you can see this, but um, let me get the light on. Um, 
it's a little bit of a translucent finish you know you can see what's inside the uh, PCB and all and there you go it's uh, displaying it loud and proud base use or base use or bus use I have no idea how it's pronounced uh, do let me know if I'm saying it wrong I I, I, I feel like I'm saying it wrong but I don't know for sure so let's see power ratings um, the maximum output for the uh, USB type A I guess is well according to this one total output is 18 watts plus 45 watts so I'm assuming this 18 watts is the uh, maximum output for the USB and the 45 watts is the maximum output for the type C so uh, 45 watts is enough to charge phones um, some laptops that support um, charging with type C so um, let's test it out let me pull out my old charger and plug this in see if the uh, thing works so here you have your USB type A and your type C so uh, let's plug it in there you go it gives you a reading of 12.5 volt 5 wait that can't be right 5.1 a few moments later so um, I discovered that it actually alternates between the uh, voltage that it's receiving from the car and the power output that it's putting out. Earlier it said 12.5 volts, so that's about the normal voltage of a car battery. Now take note that my car isn't running right now, so 12.5 volts should be normal. Now let's try to start my car up and see if it makes a difference. Alright, now it reads 14.2 volts, which is very normal, very good for a car battery. Let me just uh, switch on the AC. So let's try plugging in a cable. So I don't know what's up, but it doesn't seem to be charging my phone. It's not charging at all. Let me try it with another cable. Apparently, if you plug it in all the way, plug it in all the way and it stops charging, right? Uh, pull it out a little bit. Oh yeah, you hear that noise? There, my phone's charging now. So, um, it, there seems to be an issue with the fit of the USB uh, port and this um, anchor uh, USB cable. So let me try it with a base use uh, Type-C cable, 100 watt Type-C cable. So we've got the Type-C cable over here. Um, let me turn this light off, I think it might be causing problems. So, uh, pull that out. Hey, that is pretty long. This is a. Uh, it's. That's about one meter. This. Um, that goes in. Perfect. So. Charging. Fast charging. Forty six percent. So it seems to be working. Except um, one thing that I don't like about this is that uh, when you're charging, when you're charging, there's a cable attached to it. You can't actually read the uh, volt readings let me just flip that the other way and that's good you got 14.3 volts coming in from the car 5.2 volts coming out of the adapter and 2.32 amps uh, coming out yeah as well so you have your voltage and your current blah 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 um, so yeah I think it's it's doing a good job at rigging wait why does that say zero why does that say zero I don't know why it says zero, but my phone is still charging. So, so far it works, and yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. So final verdict, um, I, I do think it's worth the 800 that I spent for this. You've got a 65 watt charging adapter. I, I honestly just found this out today, that Base Use is a Chinese company. A lot of people have this like preconceived notion about uh, the kind of quality that a Chinese product has. And, well, I personally don't believe in that, but um, if you want me to prove to the other people that Chinese products aren't all that bad, I'd use this one as an example. So thank you so much for uh, watching me do this little mini unboxing, mini review kind of thing. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.